The side plank is such a valuable exercise, but oftentimes, because there's so really so much going on throughout the body to perform it perfectly, um, we see different areas that will tend to be neglected or not really executed or, or put in the proper position to see more success long term. So what I want to do in this video is just to run you through a couple of the issues I, I typically see with the side plank and how to correct those for better performance. So we're going to start from the foot and the ankle and work all the way up to the shoulders and the head and the neck. Okay, so with the side plank, first up, what I'm seeing is the inability to really push that bottom ankle or foot into the ground to create some space between the floor and the outside of this, this lower leg. Um, so if you notice if that foot is really, you're not able to push off that foot, you can see how this outside the leg, right in the, the, the muscle, the peroneals here, I'm actually resting that on the ground. I wanna make sure I'm able to start by digging the corner of the shoe into the ground because that's going to create some space between the floor and the leg. If you don't create space there, if you lose the foot and you rest the outside of the leg, that will create a, a situation where that core is working so hard because the, the body is not able to be up in this nice, long, straight alignment. Okay, it will cause the hips to drop and that core to really struggle to keep you in a good position. So putting the outside of the shoe into the ground, which might mean either the shoes could be an issue, the shoes do not have a nice squared corner on them. It could be more rounded, which means your foot is slipping and that foot is starting to roll. You're not able to push into the ground to create support or lack of strength. Could be the peroneals here or some of these muscles down the lower leg that are unable to hold up your body weight. If that's the case, doing some lower leg strengthening and even short, shortening the lever arm um, for the time being to still target the muscles, but kind of cut that out while you build up some strength there. But just to show you what that should look like, I'm digging from the beginning, outside of my shoe, the entire outside of my shoe, not going toward the toe, not towards the heel, I'm nice and balanced, and then I'm going to stack my feet. So you can see plenty of space there between that lower leg and the floor. Okay, so that's the first thing. Second thing is making sure that the hips, the pelvis, and the spine are in a good position. Um, oftentimes, either hips are down too low, hips are up too high, people are overly driving up, or there's actually a rotation, people are sitting back into this position, or starting to round forward. We wanna make sure the pelvis and the, the shoulders are lined up facing forward. There's always a good line, the body is completely stacked. So essentially, I'm in the same position here, as if I was just standing straight up, bodies in that perfect alignment um, next to each other. So what I wanna do is either look in the mirror, get some feedback, make sure I am stacking the hips. Hips are facing straight forward, shoulders are facing straight forward, and I'm in a position where I am level from the feet all the way up the midline spine, all the way to the head and the neck. There's that nice straight alignment all the way throughout the body. Okay. Next thing would be up at the shoulder. So if we do not have the strength or the stability to push away from the ground, that shoulder slouches, that's gonna cause us to lose our position at the shoulder and change our positioning at the upper body. So with that, what it looks like, you see if um, my hips are actually up in a good position, but my shoulder is slouched. I can feel how much pressure is going through my shoulder joint right here, because I'm letting that shoulder compress or lose its position rather than being nice and strong and pushing away from the body. That pretty much is exactly what we want to do. Once we get onto the ground here, is not just hold that position, but we want to try to push the body higher. As we lengthen out here, it's actually going to create a nice straight line from the, the bottom elbow, shoulder, through the neck to the other shoulder. So we want that nice vertical alignment through those different points because that's going to keep us in a good position that is much more stable than slouching in the shoulder. So here, feet are stacked up. I'm already pushing myself, so you can see right there, driving myself away, which already starts to push me in a good alignment here. I just need to raise my hips up, which is gonna bring the top shoulder back on top of this bottom support arm. So here, shoulders back and shoulders are still lined up facing forward. I'm pushing away from the ground, which you can see what that does. It actually helps me lift my hips up as well. So some of the dropping you may see in your hips may not actually be coming from the core, but that slouch shoulder position. So I'm in a nice packed position at the shoulder. The joint is centrated, more stable, and I'm holding there. 
Okay? So next thing is the head and the neck. Um, people always, when I see this performed at the gym, are always looking so many different places without looking straight ahead. We need to think of the neck, which is part of the spine, just like everything else. We want that neck to be a nice neutral alignment here between the shoulders, eyes looking straight ahead, not to the side, not looking down at our body, looking straight ahead wherever our chest and hips are facing. So once we get into that, that position, you'll see I should be about here. Okay, obviously a mirror would help me a little bit better, get that feedback to know my position, but I want to look here. A lot of people are doing this, looking down at their arm, looking up at the ceiling, looking down at their body. Look straight ahead, keep the head, the cervical spine in line with the rest of the spine so everything is in that same aligned position. Okay guys, so that's it. Those are a couple tips on how to troubleshoot and improve the position of your side plank. A lot going on with the net exercise, so make sure you're looking at different areas throughout the body because different things could be contributing to the reason why your position is lacking to some degree. But let me know if you have any questions with that.